Inquisitor, meet Hawk, the champion of Kirkwall. Though I don't use that title much anymore. Hawk, the Inquisitor. I figured you might have some friendly advice about Corypheus. You and I did fight him, after all. You've already dropped half a mountain on the bastard. I'm sure anything I can tell you pales in comparison. Oh, I don't know. You did save a city from a horde of rampaging Kunari. I don't see how that really applies. Or is there a horde of rampaging Kunari I don't know about? There's a Kunari. He almost qualifies as a horde all by himself. Fortunately, he's on our side. So, then, what can I tell you? Varric said that you fought Corypheus before. Fought and killed. The Grey Wardens were holding him, and he somehow used his connection to the Darkspawn to influence them. Corypheus got into their heads, messed with their minds, turned them against each other. If the Wardens have disappeared, they could have fallen under his control again. Uh... Wait, that... hold on. It's really crazy that I'm, like, talking to myself. Like, you know how, like, what if Shepard was, like, hey, here's the other Shepard, like, you know? Yeah. It's really weird. Okay, so what? That's not good. <laughs> <laughs> So Corypheus has the Venatori, the Red Templars, and now possibly the Wardens as well. Wonderful. I didn't come this far just to give you bad news. I've got a friend in the Wardens. He was investigating something unrelated for me. His name is Stroud. The last time we spoke, he was worried about corruption in the Warden ranks. Since then, nothing. Corypheus would certainly qualify as corruption in the ranks. Did your friend disappear with them? No. He told me he'd be hiding in an old smuggler's cave near Crestwood. If you didn't know about Corypheus, what were you doing with the Wardens? The Templars in Kirkwall were using a strange form of lyrium. It was red. I'd hoped the Wardens could tell me more about it. Corypheus had Templars with him at Haven. They looked like they'd been exposed to the lyrium you describe. Hopefully, my friend in the Wardens will know more. It's worth a shot. I'll take any lead I can get at the moment. Good. I'll do whatever I can to help. Corypheus is my responsibility. I thought I'd killed him before. This time I'll make sure of it. Now let's have sex so we can have sex with ourselves. Right? I know, wouldn't that it's be like, like... So, self, how are you doing? Oh, interesting, self. I'm doing great. How are you? Thanks, so, self. Now the natural order of things is for us to... You know. <laughs> <laughs> And then you both kind of just stare that into would each be, other's that eyes. That would be hilarious if Hawk was a romance option. Oh my if god. If Dragon Age was just, if they were like, Fireware's like, just kidding, you're your own romance option. <laughs> and the things you did in the previous game, that's who you are going to romance. And you're like, oh. Uh. You're like, what? But I imported my own face. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> You said you thought you killed Corypheus. The Grey Wardens had him imprisoned. They used my father's blood in a ritual to seal Corypheus inside. But he could still reach out and influence the Warden's thoughts. He sent them after me. And I didn't just think I killed him. When the fight was done, he was dead on the ground. <laughs> maybe his tie to the Blight somehow brought him back, or maybe it's old Tevinter magic. But he was dead, I swear it. All right, I believe you. Sounds like you didn't do a very good job. Yeah, all you did was stab him in the face and then he died. I mean, did you even check? <laughs> did you even check his pulse? Like, for real? Could you find his neck? <laughs> no, there was rocks, smartass. <laughs> I assume Varric's been feeding you information about the Inquisition. What did he say about me? Only good things, I promise. I was a little surprised, actually. Varric isn't one for religion in general. But he thinks highly of the Inquisition. I think the exact phrase was, has a good shot at fixing Blondie's mess. Where did you go after the mages rebelled? I heard the Chantry might be sending an exalted march to Kirkwall to put down the rebellion. I hoped that leaving would save lives and force the Divine to divide her forces to come after me. 
As it turned out, I needn't have bothered. All the circles started rising up, and the Exalted March never came. I'd like to know more about Anders. What was he like? I don't know if there ever was just an Anders. He was crazy. By the end, there was nothing left in him, except this insane need to start a war no one could win. Yeah, Anders, what the fuck? I'm sorry that you had a brain- a demon in your brain, but seriously. Why are you alone? I heard you had family and friends in Kirkwall. Where are they now? When the Wardens began acting strangely, I had my friend Aveline take my brother out of the Free Marches. Fenris would have killed himself to protect me. I didn't want to give him that chance. <laughs> Fenris! <laughs> Fenris! <laughs> You're so brooding! I love so you! So broody and troubled, I love you! Ah. <laughs> so ready to die! So young! <laughs> Let me touch your lyrium spot. <laughs> so crazy, but so awesome. So crazy, so hot. So crazy. But Such so a rivalry hot. romance. <laughs> we'll talk later. I'll meet you at Crestwood. He's <laughs> just so funny because he's like, oh, oh, it's like that guy. Gets <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what? <laughs> <laughs> There's just people falling out of the sky. <laughs> Have you seen otherwise? True enough. Majestic. How is a place like this ever Welcome lost? Welcome. Fuck you, Path. <laughs> Fuck Paths. I'm out. You knew where Hawk was all along. You're damned right I did. You conniving little shit. You kidnapped me. You interrogated me. What did you expect? Uh, Let's stay out of it. Let's see. Let's see if they start fucking. Yeah. <laughs> I just want to see. I expected you to tell the truth. I told you what was at stake. So I just hand her over on your say-so? It's okay, Hawk. This... Zealot isn't crazy. I promise. Ah! Oh! Look at she her. is ready. She's finally lost it. This is <laughs> this is funny. <laughs> oh my god. No, no, no. Stop fighting. <laughs> Let's not be a total ass. All right. You've both made your point. We needed someone to lead this Inquisition. First, Liliana and I searched for the hero of Ferelden, but she had vanished. Then, we looked for Hawk, but she was gone too. We thought it all connected, but no. It was just you. You who kept her from us. The Inquisition has a leader. Hawk would have been at the Conclave if anyone could have saved Most Holy. Uh, oh, I'm so happy my import worked! Oh. It's not Varric's <laughs> fault. Varric's not responsible for what happened at the Conclave. I was protecting my friend. Varric is a liar, Inquisitor. A snake. Even after the Conclave, when we needed Hawk most, Varric kept her secret. She's with us now. We're on the same side. We all know whose side you're on, Varric. It will never be the Inquisition's. Um, That's unfair, yeah. Sandra. Let's, let's, let's... Go let's back. remember how crazy she was being. Yeah. First of all, let's remember that you literally, like, kidnapped him and held him in a room, some sort of crazy sex dungeon. And, like, you were interrogating him. Of course, he's not going to tell you anything. He doesn't know who you are or if you're a good person. Don't. Well, and also, like, Hawk could have, well, whatever. Or Varric's earned his place, or that's unfair? Uh, Varric's earned his place. Varric's earned his right to be here, Cassandra. Thank you. I must not think of what could have been. We have so much at stake. Go, Varric. Just go. You know,
know what I think? If Hawk had been at the temple, she'd be dead too. You people have done enough to her. I believed him. He spun his story for me and I swallowed it. If I'd just explained what was at stake, if I'd just made him understand... But I didn't, did I? I didn't explain why we needed Hawk. I'm such a fool. What if it had been different? What if you hadn't believed him and you'd tracked Hawk down? Honestly, Hawk might not even have agreed to become Inquisitor. She supported the Mage Rebellion after all. She wouldn't have trusted me for a second. But this isn't about Hawk, or even Varric. Not truly. I should have been more careful. I should have been smarter. I don't deserve to be here. No, that's... no. Let's... yeah. Let's make her not feel alone. Yeah. Have you looked at our Inquisition, Cassandra? We're all fools here. <laughs> Is that supposed to make me feel better? More at home, maybe. I want you to know, I have no regrets. Maybe if we'd found Hawk or the hero of Ferelden, the Maker wouldn't have needed to send you. But he did. You're not what I'd pictured. But if I've learned anything, it's that I know less than nothing. I love how during that whole conversation, she's basically being like, we didn't want this guy, okay? We wanted all those other people to be here. Now we got this dumbass elf now running around with a glowing yeah, hand. Yeah, we got a stupid elf instead of an actual hero. Thanks, Beric. And then we're just sitting there like, okay, well... Fine. Right. I'm here. I mean, I got you a castle. <laughs> well, I mean, Solas got you a castle, but I, still... I closed the rift, FYI. And got us, you know, mages. But, you know, fuck me, right? Yep. Inquisitor, huh? Well, you've got the fortress for it. Speaking of which, when you've got a second, there's something I want to show you. Ooh, what's that? That's the type of thing guys say before they show you their penis. I know. And you're like, oh, what is it? Oh, okay. Oh, it's huge. So big. They just, anyway, I gotta you know, go. They just like wrap it over their wrist. They're like, look, what time is it? <laughs> well, they're like, here's my penis next to a water bottle, or here's my penis next to a thing. And you're like, all right, I understand reference to size, okay? Yeah. Thanks for the date, DP, okay? What did you want me to come see? Here, come on. I'll show you. Why am I dressed like this? You'll see. Come on. It'll be worth your time, I promise. Evening. Iron Bull. My merc band just joined up. Tanner. I'm from Jader. Well, near Jader. Mira. I was guard captain for Lady Pendel. Signed on after shit blew up at the Conclave. Share a drink? Who's your friend? This is Grim. She doesn't talk much. Uh... Let's be chill. Yeah. They treating you all right out here? Seen worse. Hey, Graham. Do I know you from somewhere? So, you ready to kill some demons? Or Venatori, or whatever that Corypheus asshole is? This isn't just about killing. We're helping the Inquisitor save the world and build the next empire. Uh... Let's still be chill. Yeah. The Inquisitor isn't a god. She's just a woman trying to do the right thing. Well, long as I get paid, I'm happy. That's why I signed up. I just couldn't spend my whole life on a farm. Needed to live a little, you know. What about you, Mira? Why'd you join up? I thought you were serving some noble. I saw what happened at Haven. The Inquisitor staring down that monster and his archdemon. I don't sing the chant of light as much as I should. But you can't see something like that and not believe. Well, Grim and I should find our tents. Thanks for the drink. I guess these people don't get really get a good look at her. Because well, I'm pretty sure an elf with purple eyes is easy to spot. Well, they were far away, so... I know every soldier under my command. You don't have that option. But a few faces might help. Thank you. You made it sound like you didn't like the Inquisition. People don't always tell the truth when you're polite. You've got to poke them a bit. This was good. 
Oh well, wait, this star me star thing means something. You know? Oh, okay. Whenever there's a, like a little star, that means like you should ask it. But those two soldiers might think you're an asshole. So? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this was good. Yeah. It was good to get that perspective. Yeah. Sounds like we could use an easy win for boys like Tanner. And vets like Mira have seen enough to be wary. You've got a good army coming along. Remember that. No matter what comes next. Scout Harding. Your worship. What's been going on? Seeker Cassandra came through here, looking like a storm cloud. That's just her face, though, isn't it? Oh, speaking of your worship, you know, remember when um, you're talking to Sarah and she's like, Harold, huh? I gotta do something about that. So I'm pretty sure that she used like her red Jenny contacts to make people start calling you cooler names. No way! Like, it's never officially said, but I think that that's what she did. And I appreciate that, Sarah, even though I don't like the names. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Very nice of you to do. Appreciate the Shouldn't thought. you be out there, scouting? In a bit. We're in Skyhold for supplies and a change of personnel. Not me, though. Indispensable. <laughs> so, who's Scout Harding, really? Me? Oh, I'm no one. Lived near Redcliffe all my life. Herded sheep for my neighbor. When the Inquisition came through my village, I helped by telling them everything I knew about the area. Then I signed on. Wanted to see the world before it was swallowed up by... that... thing out there. Bye! Alright. Take care. Alright, we need to talk to this guy some more, because... you keep telling me he's crazy, and so far he just seems really nice to me. So, this is Skyhold. You're always looking up into the distance, aren't you? He's just doing that, you know. So... Come, let's walk the ramparts. I want to examine our fortifications. He's doing that, like, looking off wistfully into the distance. Perhaps thinking about a lady from his past. <laughs> we'll be able to see Corypheus coming from miles away. Well, uh, if we see him, he sees us. On the other hand, that means he can see us from miles away. Let him come. I swear I'll take the Twister Bastard down, even if I have to die to do it. I'm not, I'm not losing, losing you. <laughs> I'm not losing anyone to Corypheus, especially not you. You can't afford to think I'm special. I'm a soldier no different than any soldier lost at Haven. Except that I have the option to flirt with you. I am fond of you, it's true, but we can't let this go any further. This, whatever you want this to be, is impossible. <laughs> Already, already telling us it's impossible. Ah, uh, why not? Why not? Why is it impossible? I know you have feelings for me. My lady, don't. You're the Inquisitor, the Herald of Andraste. Even now, there are people flocking to your banner ready to serve, to die. Why you gotta, why you gotta be that way? We must remain focused on the task at hand. I'm not Andrasse's herald, yeah. if that's what you're asking. I'm not what they say I am. I never asked them to believe. But they do. And it's too late to go back. Whoever you were is gone. They believe you're the herald because they need to. Without that hope, all that's left is despair. We're both bound by duty. Our lives aren't ours to live. Don't make this harder than it has to be. This is, like, kind of funny to me. So, like, we're bound by honor and by duty. Don't make this difficult for me. And I'm like, I look away. <laughs> I'm like, dude, I'm just, I'm just wanting to get some dick in, okay? Yeah, like, like relax. okay, relax. Not trying to, like, have your babies here, all right? Just trying to dick down, okay? <laughs> and when guys are like that, they're like, no, I'm too complicated. I'm I like, must all right. do the honorable thing and no. No, and you're like, come on, man. We're at a bar. Calm down. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for Haven. 
Less so for Redcliffe, but I am committed to serve your worship. All right, whatever. Bye. Less so for. Okay. <laughs> It was a mistake to use Haven as a base of operations. The town was completely indefensible. You're okay. right. Sure. Yep. Just tell you whatever you want. Yep. It was a bad location. We should have moved sooner. You left yourself vulnerable to attack. It was a miscalculation, one that I'm sure you won't repeat. But the enemy struck a serious blow against you and the Inquisition. We must recognize that. You must. She Mind your business. strikes okay. me as the person who's just going to be, like, confrontational about everything. I'm not going to forgive what happened at Haven. Corypheus will answer for what he's done. You're angry? Good. Anger can save you when everything else is gone. Just make sure you put it to good use. Our enemy advances, Inquisitor. We must not sit idly by. Act first, and teach them to fear us. You can become the leader the faithful require. But you must do it soon. She's like kind of like the only way she actually likes what you have to say is if you're just being a bad bitch. Yeah. So. Well, that sounds fine. So, Inquisitor. It is Inquisitor now, right? Remember that war we talked about stopping? Full of little baddies I can stick with little arrows. That's not a friggin' arch demon, is it? Trust <laughs> do step in. Aww. Uh. Uh. Andraste, not an Elden God. Squeeze me. No, no she's I, got, she seems very like doesn't like being defined just by her elvishness. I mean, don't think so. You knew this would be strange. Yeah. Maybe nobody saw this coming, but you knew how I got the job. I know what people said, but people believe all sorts of shite when they're scared. Swear at a farmer, and you've cursed his crops. Spill the salt, and you're dead by dawn. Dance through town in a goat's head, and children, people never had, go missing. That makes complete sense to me. <laughs> Actually. She, she grows on you. Yeah. Uh. The ancient thing trying to kill us seems pretty real. Don't get me started. Oh, wait, too late, right? A magister who cracked the Black City. It's a hazy dream, right? I mean, if it's real, real, then the seat of the Maker? Real thing. A seat needs a book, so the maker? Real thing. Fairy stories about the start and end of the world? Real things. It's too much, isn't it? How pretty are you that I actually think this shite is possible? How pretty <laughs> am I, or what? Thanks for the pretty part. Hey, yeah. I like to hear this. The pretty part, not the overwhelmed by everything part. Oh sure, don't mind the bung rip through the heavens, love. Primp and toss and all is well. What I want is to get everything back to business as usual. A nice simple system with simple problems. Helps me, helps people, helps you. In that order. For now. Okay, you're a lot cuter now. I agree. So. Well, I think we were just thrown off by her at first. I just don't think the... You know what? I think like just her first lines weren't written well, in my opinion. Where she's just like, hey, blah, 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 blah. And we're like, whoa, hold on. What? Hold on, what? <laughs> <laughs> I'm hoping you'll stick around. Never know what might interest you. I suppose, yeah. That could be Lady Harold. She almost kind of flirted with us. It was kind of nice. <laughs> I have a hard time telling when she's like, when she's like flirting, or if, if she, or if she is. <laughs> Cause you know, she doesn't seem like the type of person that would flirt very much. Do you no. know what I mean? Yeah. Or kind of flirt in a in a discombobulated way. Yeah. Which isn't necessarily a bad thing. It just makes it harder to identify. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, wait. I can jump over this. Woo! <laughs> you don't take fall damage in Haven, so you're good. Nice. The Grand Game. The game refers to the perpetual competition of, for influence and esteem between the Elysian nobles. Every Elysian of noble birth is subject to their peers' manipulation, if not as a player, then as a pawn. And the only way out seems to be joining the Chantry or affiliated organizations such as the Templar Order and the Circle of Magi. The goals of the game are personal prestige, reputation, and patronage, and its rules are as simple as anything goes. 
Nobles often employ assassins or, more often, bards to accomplish these goals. Social engineering is also important in this aspect of religion culture, and masks, elaborate dress, and social engagements are the important tools to further the game. The lower classes of religion society also attempt to participate in the game, even though it would be assumed they would view it with contempt. However, despite the game offering a veneer of genuine social mobility through, ac through accumulated wealth and patronage, with the ultimate aim of a title, the chances of this happening are in reality very slim, though it appears meritocratic. The grand gain offers most commoners only a faint hope that, quote, is enough to keep the poor preoccupied and the rich in power.